With the new Tomb Raider movie coming out here really soon, I thought I'd go back and take a look at Lara Croft Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie. I don't think I've ever actually seen that movie, even though I was watching it, and a lot of scenes looked really familiar. What's it for? Hmm? Hmm? Is that what you want to know? You want to know what this is all about? But that's neither here nor there. As I was watching the movie this time, I found a very fascinating connection between Manfred Pau and... The devil. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Durbania. I'm Durbin, and this is my theological analysis for Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Like I said earlier, I think I might have seen this in my past, yet when I was watching this movie again, like there were things that looked really familiar, but I really felt like I was watching this whole movie for the very first time. If I've seen it before, I retained very little, but I'm very glad that I went back to watch it again this time, because even though it's a little hokey, it's actually still a pretty decent movie, and there was a really fascinating connection between this film and Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. Yeah, weird connection, but you know what? It's there, and it's strong. Manford Powell. Just look at him. I mean, doesn't he just look like how you think the devil would look? Slick back hair, black suit. Yeah, I just feel like that's exactly how the devil would look. But he keeps on saying the things that the devil said. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will make myself like the Most High. Manfred is not shy in this movie about saying several times over, give me the power of God. Like, and, and just like, like that simple on that blink. If you deliver me the power of God, I will spare him. I sit here on God's right hand, as it were. Manfred is just not shy about saying, give me the power of God. He says it so many times. Give me the power of God and I'll do this for you. Give me the power of God, I'll do that. Really with Lara Croft, it's all about give me the power of God and I will bring your father back. I know what you want, Lara. Another life with your father. Second chance. It'll be within my power to give. He's offering basically to her a piece of her heart. She has been missing her father all these years. She's been in pain because he's passed away and she wants her father back. So he's hit that point and he's tempting her with that point, with this shortcut. Hey, give me God's power and I will go ahead and give you your father. I will give you that happiness and those good times back. This is just like the devil in the wilderness when he was tempting Jesus, because one of the temptations that the devil threw Jesus' way was this one. The devil led him to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will be yours. You know what's interesting? is the fact Jesus didn't dispute and say, the kingdoms of the world aren't yours. He didn't dispute that fact. How did the devil even get the kingdoms of the world to try to tempt Jesus with it? Because he tempted Adam and Eve. Kingdoms of the world, the world itself given to Adam and Eve. The devil tempts them with a shortcut. He's like, hey, eat that fruit of the tree God said don't eat. And then guess what? You're gonna be just like him. So when they submitted to the devil, when they submitted to his temptation, they lost everything. The fruit always looks so good, but the cost is always so much higher than we could bear. It is so much more than we thought. So now the devil had the kingdoms of the earth to offer Jesus in a temptation. What made it a temptation? Jesus came to the earth to redeem it. He came to the earth to save all the kingdoms of the world, to save you and to save me. But the path to that was a sacrifice. It was the cross. It was that excruciating death. Yeah, doesn't that just sound absolutely lovely? And suddenly here's the devil with the shortcut. Hey man, worship me. Just, just this once, worship me. And then I'll just hand it over to you. Sounds so good. But the cost is always far too high. For Laura Croft, when that time came and the two halves of the triangle were put together, she races to the top of the space pyramid or whatever the crud that thing was grabs a hold of that and sees her father in the crossing this is where like the real temptation is for her more than anything to now see her father face to face and really be faced with the temptation of just bringing him back with her and why not right she brings up this argument to him time has been stolen from you and me 
That's unfair. Is it really bad if I just take back what was stolen? No, it's not fair. But you have stolen time itself, and you must give it back. In other words, for her to commit this act of, of thieving time, of taking this power, it's like fundamentally shifting something inside of her. The cost is gonna be far more than she could bear. In this moment, it really was a temptation to either go back or take her father back and change time, and in a sense, get the whole world, but really, she would be losing her soul. When we go back to Jesus with the temptation in the wilderness, I'm very glad he did not bow the knee or succumb to that temptation because you and me, we would have been lost. This entire world would have been lost because for him to worship the devil even the one time instead of worshiping his father, it would have fundamentally changed who he was on the inside. How could it not? The sacrifice was to be somebody that was pure and spotless, somebody that had no sin to be the sacrifice for us who had sin. So in that way, he could become the curse and free us from the curse. But for him to do that, to worship the devil just that one time, dude, he would have been lost. We would have been lost. It all would have been lost. Sure, that shortcut looks so good. The death on a cross, no, that doesn't look pretty even a little bit but my goodness, the cost would have been too high. You know what kept driving Jesus forward? And you know what I think drove Jesus to say what Jesus said to the devil? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only and basically go in your face. No, it is the joy set before him. The Bible says for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. What was the joy? You were the joy set before him. I was the joy set before him. The idea of saving us so that we could have that relationship with him is the joy set before him. He endured it for you and me so we could be set free from the devil's kingdom and be brought into his kingdom and have our father who loves us. You're never alone. I'm with you always, just as I've always been. Sometimes it sucks that we have to walk the hard road, but life is that hard road. The temptations, it looks like it's easier. It looks like it's going to a better place. Truth is, it's not. The temptation always leads to a cost that is far more than we can bear. Or if we just walk the road faithfully and know that God is with us, giving us strength and giving us power, and he who has overcome the world, who has victory over it, is with us, if we could just walk that road with him and know that he's there, the reward is far greater and far sweeter. So when you watch Laura Croft Tomb Raider, what do you see? What connections do you find in this movie? Are you excited for the new Tomb Raider? Let me know in the comments and while you're there, hit the subscribe button to become a Durbanian and hit the bell next to that subscribe button. That way you're gonna be notified the next time I drop a theological analysis and the next time I drop a how they should have done it. Check out my how they should have done it with Prince Caspian. I had a lot of fun putting that together and I do plan to make more. So definitely hit that bell for more movie reviews and ranking videos and all kinds of other great stuff here on this channel. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbania.